We're gonna show you guys how we take old things that we buy at the thrift store and turn them into a profit. Some of them already sold, and today is painting day. Don't be afraid of taking old things and making them new again. Right now we're seeing people saying that they can't find the things that they're looking for. They're not sure about what they're gonna do for Christmas, but I'm here to tell you there are plenty of goods right here in the US that just need a little upkeep to make them new again. One of my biggest tips is just pick a couple colors and go with that, because if you change your colors a lot, you gotta wash your brush, it takes a lot longer. You can whip through projects if you pick a color of the day and just go from there. There's minimal prep involved here. I'm just cleaning this up, getting it ready to paint. I like a good all around brush. These cling on brushes are amazing, easy to clean, and don't leave a ton of brush strokes. I'm gonna start with DIY's Water Lily. I'm just going with a soft color here, and then I'll come back with waxes and maybe some stenciling. We'll see what happens. All right, so my section over here is this tote. I've got this pig, You're probably gonna wipe the chalk off of that. And then we've got this old drawer that's dovetailed that we found. I think I'm just gonna paint the outside white, leave the inside wood, and then do a stencil on the front. To buy the paint and products you see today, as well as the items that we're finishing, you can visit JamieRayVintage.com. We'll drop a link below. So as we're painting here, some people have accused us of being paint slappers, and I will gladly own that title. Because... Slap that paint! Slap it! <laughs> <laughs> well, we distress almost everything we do. It's the style we like, and we found that thousands of other people also like it. So we, we're gonna stick with that. We love it, it makes it really easy to paint. It kind of gives these newer, more modern looking pieces some old world charm that people are wanting in their homes. The cozy feel is really popular right now and a little bit of wear on your furniture and your decor really helps with that. It's easy to achieve with a little bit of uh, tasteful distressing. Hey, if you have kids, animals, Husbands that aren't especially particular, you're gonna get that distress anyway, so just work with it. I always come back after I've painted and I smooth out my brush strokes and make sure I have good even coverage. That way it looks nice. You just have to work fast so that way you can do it before it dries. All right, got my paint on. Hopefully, hey, I feel like you're flopping paint on my towel. There's a line you here. Encroached. Sir. You encroached. <laughs> Encroachment. Encroachment. Five yard penalty. Repeat first down. I feel like we've just got through football season. The next step is gonna to be to wet distress my items, especially porcelain and metals. You don't wanna use an orbital sander because then it gets through like to parts you don't wanna see or the metals and makes them like look weird shiny. So if you just take a rag and wipe against it, you're gonna pull off the paint because it's water soluble until it's sealed. So we're just gonna do that on all of these pieces and then we'll be ready for wax. The bottom is not painted, so I'm just gonna wipe off the excess paint in areas where I don't want it. I could paint the bottom, but it didn't come that way originally, so. Okay, we're decoupaging the pig. It's happening. And I'm white waxing over here. We're multitasking, waxing, and pausing. Is that short for decoupage? Pausing? Pausing. Yeah. I don't know, when you look that up, what, is, what does that mean? We'll have to check the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> you might need to edit that out. I know it's okay to be waxing, which is what I'm doing. DIY white wax for the win. It's gonna change the color a little bit. If you don't wanna change the color as much and just have a hint of white, then you could clear wax it too. But the clear wax is a finishing product, so once I buff this, they will be sealed and done. Okay, so this is liquid patina from DIY. I'm putting it on here. I put a bunch on and now I'm just wiping it back, making sure it's nice and even. It'll stick this paper on there so good. If you want less wrinkles, go thin with your decoupage paper. Check out this JRV decoupage paper. That bath paper's amazing. How many hours did it take you to design it? Oh, like 20? I don't know, a long time. <laughs> Some paper comes together so quickly and some paper does not. So I'm just gonna wipe back the wax and then we'll buff it tomorrow after it's sat for 24 hours. I was gonna try to be nice and neat and be like, okay, I want these flowers on here, but I'm just going. I'm just gonna go with it and we'll, we'll trim off whatever. In the words of Charlotte's Web, that is gonna be some pig. Yes, it is. So nice thin coat back over the top. 
saturate the paper. That pulls that liquid patina that's on the paint up through a little bit. So whatever paint color you've got underneath, that will show through because this is 18 pound paper. It's not super heavy, so it works really well. It's almost like napkin thin, almost. The nice thing about the liquid patina is it's thicker. So if you use a lightweight sealer, which you can totally do for decoupage, it's going to be more likely to tear and it dries faster. So this gives you more open time. And I've used a lot of different top coats and it really is one of the best. So I got my edges all wet. I'm just ripping. Or you could just use your finger. Yeah, you could. This brush is stiff enough. It's working really well. It's giving me a nice organic edge. You want an organic floral pig? Yes. All right, so this is the hard part. What stencil to use on these two white items over here? We've got some big letters. Obviously, those are out of place. I don't know where their home is. Crockery. Are you showing them my disorganized stencil pile? I am showing it. I like, could put a spider on there. Patisserie, the sample one that's spelled wrong. That you gotta fix. We did a patisserie tote and it did Sell. It did sell. It was cool. Maybe we'll do another one. I think a Christmas tote. I love the trees. Fresh okay. Christmas tree on the tote. I think I'll do that. And then this one on the drawer, I'll do something more like a uh, like a grain sack situation. I've got DIY in little black dress. I'm gonna just stencil with it. A little dab with my JRV stencil brush. You know, I'm gonna offload right there. Okay. Okay, so I have white background, black stencil. If you don't want your paint to smear super bad, I'm just taking a dry paper towel and wiping off that sanding dust. I might still get a little bit of gray in there, but that's okay. I feel like it just adds to that distressed aged look. Let's consider it like a, uh, a black wax or aging dust. And I'm just wet distressing this part because there's so much detail, it's impossible to get the orbital in here. So, just coming in. And also wet distressing the hardware because you don't want to sand that with an orbital. DIY clear wax. Jamie did white wax on these. It seals up just as good as the clear wax. It's just got a white pigment in it. I'm going to do clear wax on these ones because I really like the white and black contrast. I don't really want to muddy that down or water it down at all. Quick on here. You can buff it after about 20-30 minutes and then let it sit for 24 hours. You can buff it again or apply another coat if you need real durable finish. You can do as many coats as you want. It dries clear. I've got 220 grit sandpaper, and I'm just gonna lightly go over this. It's got a couple little wrinkles in there. It's gonna bring that out, give it kind of a distressed age look. But I think this pig's turning out really cool. Okay, one more coat of the liquid patina just for durability. It's stuck down there really nice. Well, and when you just stress it, sometimes it opens up raw edges. Yep. Comment below if you would be interested in getting some cutouts like this for your own decoupage projects. All right, so we didn't show sanding this, but this had a lasered logo that we didn't really love in there. And now it's just a good plain cutting board, bamboo. It's awesome. It's going to last a lot more years. Good. That's new. <laughs> I'm just testing out the durability of the pig. The piglet. 
These all came out super cute. I'm loving the water lily and white wax combo. If you guys can't remember what these look like because they look so awesome now, we're gonna throw it before and afters. To purchase these products or these items, unless they've already sold, which some of them have, you can visit jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.